downtown Frederick. Gorgeous afternoon. We're with Barrett and we're doing some healing on the city streets. He's done the inside of a store, he's done Baker Park, he's done the CNO Canal, he's done busy gas station, he's done the back alleys of Frederick. Now we're in downtown. This is the main street, full of people, full of cars, lots of new sounds. Everything is new to him. My expectation remains the same. Just stay calm and walk nicely by my side. That is the heel command. That's it, no matter what is going on around you, that's the only thing we ask. Heel. All right, so I'm gonna give you some tips on keeping Barrett from being pushy with his heel command. There's some dogs over there. You saw them, no reaction. The first thing that I like to do is pace changes. I'll start walking really fast on purpose and then suddenly slow down. And if he doesn't slow down with me, I turn pressure on with the e-collar. Watch how I do this. Walk really, really, really fast on purpose and then suddenly slow down. See how he slowed down with me? To a crawl. You'll know if they're not with you because they're gonna shoot past your leg. And that's when you have to be ready with the remote to click the button. The second thing that I like to do is just a basic stop. And if the dog doesn't sit right away, I click the button and that usually gets them in tune with me pretty quickly. They are trained to sit when you stop. So we throw that in unexpectedly and I always find the dogs better after that. So watch, we'll do it right now. He's on his best behavior. But if he didn't sit, I would just click the button. Heel. Why is he on his best behavior? Because for the past four weeks, we have been unbelievably consistent with our expectations, our accountability, correcting mistakes. And so that's what you get when you're 100% consistent with things like that. You get a dog who pays attention. said they made progress the last time that they saw ducks because they got rid of the whining. Good. The whining is the thoughts of going after the ducks. <clears throat> you know, I'm in command, but I want to go after them. And we've got to shut that down saying you're in command and you can't even think about going after them. chin comes up, I can click and it goes back down. And it teaches him to ignore everything even though there's something right there. This is such a good practice for him. Boy. Good boy. Heel. Nice. Recall to an off leash heel. Third thing I'm going to show you is the heel tap. 
when you're walking your dog, you're gonna stay moving. You're gonna lift up your left leg. Tap it against your dog's chest. If it makes contact, you're gonna also tap the e-collar. You're gonna do this randomly so they don't see it coming. So soon your dog's gonna be really aware of their position. They're gonna stay far back because they're gonna to wanna to avoid that tap. It's a nice physical um, boundary that you can create with your dog. because we're creating this physical boundary. Just like that. So now we've made him really aware of his position. And it works like a charm for dogs who always wanna be right up against the line of heel. And that is so frustrating when you have a dog who's pushy with heel.